finished first field this morning. Now we're going to the other river bottom. The sandy river bottom. Well, they're all sandy. Just hope and pray it comes up good. This is the field that has a lot of sand still in it. But we're gonna hope for the best. You see it? It's my favorite color. We have visitors because the grass is always greener. Tomorrow, girls, he said he'd turn you on a different pasture tomorrow. You gotta hold on a minute. How you calves doing? Feeling better since we changed your minds? Y'all look good, if I do say so. Yeah, you too, 17. Just had the air condition fixed on that tractor last week. Guess what? It's out again. I feel really bad for him. It's hot in there. It's like 86 or 88 today. Oh boy. I hope we get it fixed before hay season. That's my tractor. You've been a big help. Thank you, buddy. You have. You've helped. Yes. Helped get things here and there. You've been hanging out all day. You haven't complained. I'm proud of you. Okay. Waiting on one. Got everybody else in. That wasn't bad at all. Well, my son got it done this morning with two days to spare in the season. He got his turkey for the year. Well, he got one turkey. He could get another one. But anyway, we got one. And we've all been wanting him to get a turkey because what's, oh! what's our favorite thing to eat? Turkey nuggets! Okay, she said turkey nuggets and so that's what we're going to do. So, for this, I do it the same way I do basically anything that I fry. Just like our calf nuggets. I'm going to cut it up. I'm going to batter it in house altry chicken breader. And we're going to call it good. And I'm cooking cornbread. Oh, yeah. You're cooking cornbread? <laughs> I'm cooking cornbread. Woo! <laughs> Now the fun part. Check it out. <laughs> mm, wow. Okay, you are being a turkey. You are being a turkey. Okay. And here we have breaded, frying, done. And let me just tell y'all, turkey nuggets? Oh my gosh, I just dropped one. Heaven help me. I will eat that one. I trust, trust me. Turkey nuggets are right up there with beef. They're delicious. And it's all I can do not to eat all of these before they hit the table. And the light just came on. Thank you for that. And today he just tried to knock down this volunteer corn with a uh, herbicide. Not a herbicide. Something. It didn't work as well as he wanted. So he's doing this. And then we'll plant.
all been tilled, plowed, tilled. What do you call it? Both? Either? Or? Anyway. And now he's planting. What do you think, Bonnie? There's little corn seeds out there. Hope and pray they come up and they stay up and they grow big and we can pick them. So this farm, this field is going to be our ear corn. The corn that we pick with our beautiful picker and then bag and our beautiful poly bags. It's a good sight, y'all. It's a really good sight. And this will do it for us. We only have three fields. We are not BTOs, big time operators. We are STOs, small time operators. But it takes all to make the world go around, right? And we have these awesome telephone poles poles we have to <laughs> have to go around even breezier right now warm sunny we're supposed to get rain this weekend hopefully it's not a washout and it does what it needs to do and hopefully I'll be able to show you some corn popping up soon What's that song corn popping up in rows that's taking it way back but anyway I digress here's to an awesome plant 19 y'all sorry that looks gross that bull calf about got me this week we finished castrating this week, which is great. Glad to have that done. Nobody got seriously hurt. A few bruises, just to remind me of a couple awesome weeks of castrating. It's all good. Everything heals in time. I hope everybody has a great plant 19. And for those of you still struggling to get going, thoughts and prayers. I hope it dries up soon. And, um, yeah, here's a good one. Field we planted the other day is starting to come up, and look what I found. Little green shoots of hope. Mm -hmm.